We are going back to the OG Walmart days. The people of Walmart.com is back. It is still up. I mean, it's still out there. People are still posting to it. It's where we find the pictures over the, the videos. And sometimes, you know what? Pictures are worth a thousand words. So let's get down to the people of Walmart. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit like, and let's go down that clearance aisle once again. Sports card nonsense. Careful out there. Retail shopping, boys. Theft protection is at work. <laughs> No, this lady's waiting for her time to come because she wants to hit the restock herself, but she's at work. Have any of you guys seen somebody sit down cross-legged, pretzel-legged, weighing the freaking cards? That is when you know there's a uh, diehard collector in your town. Uh, what's the point? <laughs> he had a backup plan, man. Nothing more than a grade-A backup plan because he's got the suspenders. Looks like he's got a belt on. With the suspenders and that backup plan of the belt below the belt. But I trust this guy. He looks like a, a very faithful, trusting dude. <laughs> Hemp bar soap. Somebody mistaken the bar soap for a freaking edible. I'm telling you right now, man, you ain't dancing with no devil if um, you think you're going to eat that and uh, catch a freaking buzz, man. I don't know, dude. People see that leaf and they just get all weird and freaking out, man. And, uh, well, hemp doesn't do nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, the COVID ones are just priceless. Getting the old Tampax Pearl put on the face. Get the mask in. Might have been probably the best mask you could have wore, honestly, for uh, to keep stuff out. Because a couple bottles of wine, getting ready for a couple nights in. The Hallmark Channel is going to be ripping. Love to see these ones. Somebody called her on shoplifting, but maybe not. I, you know, I would say no. Uh, it's a platform. A kid could be there. He could probably sleep on that thing while you shop. But um, no, we got to recognize shoppers at what they are. And I'm telling you, she's not shoplifting. There's just no way. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the horse, dude. I want the pickle. I feel like this was more not for the YouTube clicks because people now will dress up and it's all about getting a click for YouTube and throwing a sandwich on someone and laughing and getting a click. <laughs> We, you know, we just had our tattoo video and this is my point. You get to be old and you think karma came back to strike you, brother. It did. Karma hits you hard, man. Dude, they're getting old. They're sagging. They're not making out like what they used to be. You can't make out some of them. The words starting the letters are meshing together. You know, you're at Walmart when you see a guy wearing a bath towel poncho. Didn't notice that. Did not notice that, but it, He's got a shirt. It should count. He's got his shoes, so he's got the service. And you know what? You're down in Texas. You're in Florida. This might be Florida. It's so hot down there. Why not, man? I'm going to Target. I'm going to Walmart. Except now, you know, I don't know whoever made this when it was made, but what I will say is it is the opposite now. Target is becoming... Like, dude, dollar store level of trash. Walmart, they're stepping their game up. You know, they're, they used to be down here. Target was up here. It is flipping, man. The script is flipping. Walmart is stepping up to the plate. They're doing a pretty good job. Can't rip this guy. I mean, honestly, the fanny pack is probably the best thing going on here. Uh, fanny packs, if you, you don't got one, go get one. He's rocking. You know what? It looks like Valentine's Day. That's what it looks like. Um, so maybe that's why he's wearing pink, man. Valentine's Day special right here. <laughs> Flavor Flav! Who needs a clock when you got the spoon, dude? She's him croy. Uh, Cocoa Pebbles, maybe. You like that peanut butter chocolate flavor? I don't even know what to say about this. I don't know what in your mind made you go, I'm going to wear a big spoon. Unreal, man. Support animal in check. I When we had the video of uh, the dragon, body are like, dude, they're... Very affectionate animals. Some of you own them. And I'm like, no, no. But enough people have walked around with these things in Walmart that it's not just one person that went viral for one. You see these things all the time, dude. <laughs> Who wanted the bouquet of flowers? We're all sold out. I want to, dude, how do you sleep at night? It's got to be a headdress, right? This, there's no way you put this in your hair. And you go to bed at night. You'd have to sleep in a chair, I think, because then you could 
flip your hair, put it on the back of the chair, recline it, and lay down. Because I just don't see you getting into a regular bed. Playing the part to the T, man. I think that's his natural hair. This That is incredible, dude. You made his natural hair fit to the costume. Ears just kind of blended on in. Um, you're wearing some leggings. I don't know if those uh, boots are part of the leggings, but probably not the worst thing to make it into the Walmart lifestyle. <laughs> Ever heard of a mohawk? The mullet mohawk combo. You got, I feel like, can't you just pick one or the other? And if I were you, I'd pick the mullet. It's a little bit more fashion trendy, a little bit better than the mohawk. You can't go sit at your desk at a nine to five and rock a mohawk. You can with a mullet. Somebody said they're hungry. How does that even happen? Where's that? Where's the piece of the controller that should be there? Did somebody steal it? Is that how they stole it out of there? You just rip open the side and... Or did you truly eat the cardboard and the controller is still in there? Good question. I'd love to know. I'd love to open the box and find out here. Or what would be really great is if we could all see the security footage. Ah, oh, dude, there. this is just incredible. Look how busy that Walmart is. I feel like this is, this is a great reason why we need to recoup the Walmart videos from people of Walmart because we get to see pre-COVID Walmart when that thing was bumping. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, the COVID times were so great. We got to see people like this. And this, got to give it to you. This is how you get your own personal space, even away from Rona. People aren't going in your space. I just want to know how you uh, open the curtain to grab stuff and put it in your cart. The redneck truck. That's what they call me. What is that, a Cadillac DeVille? Yeah, you know what? Not bad. Just don't put liquids back there unless unless you made it where it's uh, waterproof because that will get back up into the front there. But parking job fits. Fits the car. You almost took up two spots. And I see, you know, you got the dealer plate in there. Like, if you're going to buy something, why did you buy this? <laughs> the crazy cat lady come back again. What happens when one runs? Are they, I don't know. Are they chained up? I see you got a little glass of water for him there. Legit. Gotta love that. But what happens when one sees something it wants and it runs? You go chase that one. Come back. Bring it in. Then the other one runs away. <laughs> oh, dude. I hope it's Halloween. Maybe this is what you get for worst employee of the month. Because, I don't know. Pre-COVID, man, things were wild back then. Maybe you got a dare... You had to go into your your overnight shift all dressed up just to get the reaction. And you got, what, is that the Misfits sweater on? You got some mystical creature as your bag. Yeah, that's about all I can make out. I don't know what it's from. When your daughter thought she was going to wear that short skirt out in public. Dad does this. Um, You know, let the guy do his thing. I hope it is, though, because I love. This is where I, I like the videos. Because then we can see what he is dressing up in his little uh, camo tutu for. Because maybe it is. Maybe it is the daughter. Uh, just 12 years old. Wanted to wear that mini skirt. He said, oh, hell no. And this is how we got this. But I'd love to see you shoot a deer and then butterfly yourself over to the deer to see if you got him. The guy you need when you go open up gifts at a Christmas party. Why? That is four knives. It doesn't even look like... Most of the time you have like a, what are the, a Letterman, Leatherman, when you have that 20 in one tool, which are legit and you do need a holster because it's so fat, but dude, it's like a buoy knife, a hunting knife. Dude, how many knives do you need, man? Even for the biggest Christmas party in the world, you don't want those. You don't want the buoy knife coming out to open up a cardboard box. <laughs> I said no toys, damn it. I told you no toys. What happened to, uh... The, uh, your kid's a teenager, he steals something, you go, a little bit of shame, ain't no bad, but this kid's pretty young, he's pretty young yet. I don't know, this day and age too, people are going to frown on that, people are going to get real mad on that one. Walmart doesn't sugarcoat it, literally. Ugly sweater, five fifty. dollars What's the original price? Original price is probably five fifty nine. Got nine cents off on the old ugly sweater. Can't go wrong, though, with the prices at Wally World, man. Those things are legit. They're legit. I mean, you can always get a pair of shoes for 15, 20 bucks. Cup, I mean, you can walk out of there with a wardrobe with 100. <laughs> Whoever made those shorts, dude, 
deserves to go to hell, man. You know people are going to buy those. And someone from a big brand is like, dude, let's make, let's make these because the freaking workout shorts are a thing. Not anymore, man. They're trashy. Now they make this. You think people are going to look? Yeah, people are going to look at that stupid little sign there. And what the hell is that? And then they go, oh, I see. <laughs> the wife is out shopping. I have seen this like in the flesh, dude. Uh, question is, would you guys buy this couch? Because I'm not. I am not. There might be an outline of the body when you guys, uh, when this guy wakes up to leave. But I've seen this. I, dude, not even lying. They like seen this, you know, Costco, dude, you're going to see it in Costco because dude, nobody wants to shop in Costco, at least the guys. So they go to the spot, test the furniture out, shut their eyes for five minutes, might turn into an hour. When it's your favorite pair of pants, man, you can't throw them and you can't fix them either. That's bad luck. You just got to roll with it. Denim Dan, uh, keep on rocking. Might be your yard pants. Leave it there. I wouldn't go publicly shopping with those suckers. <laughs> dude, he looks like a, uh, the carpet to a hotel freaking like ballroom. I think it might be a video game. I'm not sure, but definitely looks like uh, the carpet to the cruise ship I was just on. Unbelievable, dude. I just want to know where are you going? What are you doing? Is it for a festival? So many questions of why you would buy that and why you would wear it. Only at Walmart. Back in the great A. Oh, dude. The premier Rona with some limes. How did that work out? All right. How did that work out? <laughs> I will not fail. And no, you won't with that much bologna. Dude, that much bologna. There's a challenge at soon to happen here. Uh, it's on a YouTube video somewhere. Looks like he got nothing else but the bologna. When you order the Easter bunny on Wish and this guy comes. This looks like a vintage Walmart though. You got the Subway, dude. I got that in my Walmart. Always solid. Just looks vintage. Doesn't look like the Walmart we see today. Kind of like the McDonald's. They used to be colorful, fun, enjoyable. Now they make it gray, dark. Not even a checkout anymore. You order everything on that little kiosk, and then they bring it to you. You don't see anyone that works there. <laughs> the cookie monster. Yeah, you've heard me joke. There's two things that define a person of Walmart. If you wear it to Walmart, is cookie monster pants and Mountain Dew pants or a Cookie Monster shirt. If Cookie Monster was made for the, the people of Walmart and the Mountain Dew pants were made. <laughs> Why'd you guys go shopping? Were you going to do exactly what you do at home in the store? Bill, did you see they have a sale on toothpaste? And ooh, you get two for one on the Tums, the big packs. Did you see that? Um, you guys even brought a freaking lunchbox, man, to enjoy. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if your your head's really... I don't even know if your hand is needed, dude, to support your head. And those shoes. What on earth? Like, you're ready for the construction job site. Maybe you're ready for the gaming session of the weekend. And you're rocking the Elvis shoes. The freaking, dude, 70s, man platforms the high heels like no one tells you you can't do it and just because you can't do something doesn't mean you should it's a miracle isn't that isn't that a miracle see i ride one of those they tell me to get off maybe dye your hair gray a couple wrinkles in the skin you hop on one dude no one says nothing can't wait till i get a few years older you can just hop on the little rascal and just rip it dude no one's gonna even bat an eye seen this at walmart and this car is never going to be fixed by a mechanic. Once there's a freaking oil leak, there's a small check engine light, drive it to the junkyard, drop it off, call her good. Because if I'm a mechanic, dude, I'm never getting in that thing. I will never look at it. I will never even get it out of my parking lot right away. Nice tat, brother. Had a, see, this is a nice... You know what? Had some crappy tattoos. But this one ain't a bad one, dude. Like, would I get the Hulk? No, never, dude. That looks... <laughs> Probably paid a couple hundred bucks for that. Was it worth us? Let us know. Please don't touch the baby. Don't touch the baby, I said. And if anyone has a baby, you know the public people. There is crazies out there. They, they think it's like a cat or something. They think your baby is... Let's go pet it. No, don't pet my baby. Don't hold my baby. That's my baby. Don't hold mine. We're in Walmart right now. We don't even know each other. I've never seen you in my life. 
and that is what we have come to. But all right, all right, that does it. That does it for this episode of Walmart. Spend some time since we visited the old, old Walmart, and it is always gold when we get to visit the pre-COVID Walmart days, because that's when Walmart really thrived. Since then, it's boring. It's bland. It's like pff, a hamburger. No one likes hamburgers, unless you're under like 10. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, you want to keep coming back for more, because you never know what's going to be next. Your own the Dave channel. Always love going to the people of Walmart because it just it doesn't hit like it used to. You know, five years ago, people of Walmart was like the thing. It hit the 10x when people of Walmart dropped. Hopefully, we can do one more of these in this 90 day challenge. But day three down. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we'll see y'all on the next one.